The stay at home order is now in effect, but we wanted to know what's being done to help those without a home. CBS 17's Holden Krowicki is digging deeper into what's being done to protect the homeless population during the pandemic. The doors at the Raleigh Rescue Mission are closed, but CEO John Luckett says the shelter remains open for business. Well, we consider uh, Raleigh Rescue Mission our client's home. And so if you can think about it this way, we're actually coming into their home to serve them. Luckett says to date, no one in the homeless community has tested positive for COVID-19, but the virus is putting a serious strain on resources. We're at capacity under new social distancing. You know, we can't put, you know, 100 people in a small area anymore. We can't do that anymore because that's not healthy for them or anyone serving them. They've stopped admitting new clients and are only allowing residents without a job outside for an hour a day. But that doesn't mean they aren't staying busy. We have basically teams of people going through wiping down everything from the door handles to this the elevator i mean it's just kind of like a continuous you know 16 hour a day cleaning uh party they're doing their part to keep coronavirus from making its way inside the shelter but they're still concerned about those left out we, we are giving bag launches to individuals but for the most part those individuals are looking for a place to stay either in a tent or some other place that may be able to accommodate them. That's why they're asking for your help in this time of need. We don't want them to relapse and become homeless again. You know, we, we're going to do everything in our power. Uh, we know we have the stimulus package coming, so that's going to help a lot financially. But we don't know how long this thing's going to last. God bless you. Thank you very much. If you'd like to help in the form of spare change or space, go to our website and click on the link to this story. In Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.